deliverance in your presence, Lord. Every chain has got to be broken in your presence, Lord. It's not by might or by power, but it's by your presence, Lord. It must fall to the ground right now in Jesus' name. His presence, His presence is near. Even now, even now, even now. Even now, reach out and touch Him. Reach out and touch him just like the one with the issue of blood. Reach out, he's passing by. He's passing your way. Don't miss this moment. Don't miss this moment. Reach out, his presence is there. Let him touch you. Let him heal you. Let him touch you. Let him feel you. Something's coming in and something is moving out right now in your house. Just worship him, worship him, worship him, worship him. You're holy, holy, holy. Holy Lord God Almighty, we love you, 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 Jesus. We love you, love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, worship Him. Come on, worship Him. Come on, open up your mouth and worship Him. Come on, in this place, open up your mouth and worship Him. that's looking at this telecast tonight you need to understand right now that there's power in his presence all the glory Come on, help me sing it.
sweet, sweet spirit, and the most shy. In this place, how many know it? And I know that it's the spirit of the Lord. Come on, Holy Spirit. Can you help me sing it again? There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know that there is a spirit, a spirit, and I know, and I know that I know. I don't need to introduce this next guest because so many people are let alone both shots. But the Spirit of the Lord said, what is it that my presence cannot do? Ha! What is it that my presence cannot do? Trust me, 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 trust me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't need to introduce this next guest. She has been a frequent guest on TBN. And I'm inclined to believe that one of the reasons why they have consistently invited her is because not only because of her music, but because of her spirit. And I like for Everybody in television land and in this audience, so please give a warm welcome to Judy Jacobs. As a matter of fact, we salute your anointing tonight. All over this building, we salute her anointing tonight. We salute that anointing tonight. In the name of the Lord, Jesus. Judy, there's so many things that we that I know I can say about you but one of the things that is just so awesomely recognizable to everybody is that I have I don't know I used to say when I used to see this person minister all the time Valerie Borden just the way she would just give it all that she has and you've seen her minister just everything that's in her she would just go for it until i met you judy i used to say valerie was the hardest working woman in ministry but i have never seen anybody just pour out like you do and just give it every it just comes from your gut and that has to be a person that understands this when my voice gives out, my praise doesn't. <laughs> when my strength is gone, I still got a praise in my spirit. And, and, and one of the reasons why I invited you, I tried to get it on my phone, but you recently are releasing a book called uh, Violet Faith. And I wrote the foreword to that book. And when, when, I received the manuscript. I held on to the manuscript for a while and I was praying about it. And 
the people that are invited tonight too has is, is been a part of my miracle process with my voice and May the 10th you called my cell phone and I didn't get to the phone in time and and you You must have been in prayer, but you started out just violent in the Lord and just prophesying and saying that this very day this thing ends today the very thing that the devil has tried to do to your voice she said i release your voice back to the kingdom with greater power and greater anointing and the victory and judy just began to violently prophesy and pray for me on that answering machine and that next morning judy i went back to 5 a.m prayer and had not been there in months and I laid on my face on the floor and couldn't even talk, couldn't say anything, couldn't get anything out. And I could hear your prophecy. This thing ends today. And I remember reading the first chapter of your book about violent faith and how you have to take it by force. And when it looks like the devil is not going to turn loose what God said, that you have to get violent. The Bible said that the people of God suffered violence, but the violence, yeah. take it by force. And as I begin to read that, I got up off of the floor in prayer. And the Spirit of the Lord said, get the microphone. I couldn't even talk. I said, I don't even know. And I, I was kind of like this, like I couldn't. And I got up, Judy, and the first thing out of my mouth when I took the microphone, my voice opened up as clear as a whistle. And even what I'm noticing is every time I'm getting ready to do something in the body of Christ, when I got ready to preach in Megafest, when I got ready to go to Rob Proxies and John Hagees and even come in here, every time there is an awesome move of God, the enemy comes back and I start feeling things and I start confessing and I remember what you said and it just lifts and it opens. God, I love you today, Jesus. God, I love you for the victory today. And I want, I have to ask you, and there's so many miracles that God has wrought in your life. I need to know what provoked above and beyond. Because I have your first CD. And my favorite song on that CD that I am doing on my CD is... Um, Help me out, I'll just do a blanket. Heart's Desire, You Are My Heart's Desire. That song took me through, and I guess y'all say she always going through, but all of us is. And, and people look at you sometimes, and they, and they covet the anointing that's on your life, but they don't know the price that you paid. They don't know what you go through when the lights go out and everybody go home. And you lay the microphone down. They don't know the demons that you have to fight. They don't know the battle that you have to fight to get through to the next time. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And we all appreciate when we see anointed people like the Crabs and like Judy Jacobs and like Randy Phillips. Because whenever you sense that there was an anointed in the person's life, I promise you that they paid a price and they've gone through something. There's some people in here tonight that's been through some things that you can't never tell nobody. Come on here, somebody. And the only way that we know that you've been through the fire is that the anointing shows up on your life. That's some stuff you can't never talk about. Touch somebody and say, I know how I got my anointing. Tell them where I got it from, I can't talk about it. But trust me, he brought me out. Hey, I wish I had somebody. Yes, 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 yes. He brought me out. Judy, when you go ahead, just, just go ahead. Well, first of all, I want to say what a privilege and an honor it is to be here tonight with you mighty woman of God because you are you are the voice crying in the wilderness prepare you the way of the Lord thank God for your anointing thank God for how he has raised you up and what he is doing the things that he's doing and the new levels where he's taking you it's unbelievable and you know just as you said when you're going through hell and like you just said everybody goes through hell I heard somebody say when you're going through hell 
don't stop. That's right. That's right. What happens is people stop in the middle of that junk and they get stuck. That's right. But on the other side of that, come on somebody, there's victory. That's right. That's where you're at right now That's tonight, right. prophetess. That's right. And I, I just, you know, it's, it's so amazing because everywhere I go, it doesn't matter where I'm at, if I'm in a Benny Hinn Crusade or wherever I'm at, people are always asking me, how is prophetess? <laughs> because they think that we talk on the phone every day. I know. Like, it reminds me when, when you know, when Jan was sick, they were saying, how is Sister Jan? You know, I know. And, uh, but uh, I, I love to say, I, she's doing awesome. She's but doing incredible. In the spirit. And when we God can finally put people in your life, you don't have There's to be chatterboxes on the phone. You don't have to Sinead. be in their face all the time. But every time I see you, it's as if I just saw you yesterday. It, it, it just picks up where it left off. How did this CD come about? Because there is truly a different anointing on this CD than even the last one. Everything that you do, Judy, is just anointed. But something about above and beyond, what, what happened to you? Well, it all, it all started in the beginning of, of 2001, whenever actually God woke us up. We, you know, we, uh, we, we go into a time of prayer and fasting, and I know as you do, right before the new year comes in. Mm -hmm. And my husband, Jamie, and I had went into a time of prayer and fasting, and we were believing God for great and mighty things. There were so many things that were going on in our lives and, and needing to, just to, to see an mm. Yes. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. Just, just something to, to get you out from where you are, to go to another place. Yes. And uh, one night in prayer, my, my husband is a mighty man of God, and one night in prayer, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning, God woke us up and he said he told my husband he said you're going above and beyond where you can eat he took us to ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above and beyond your wildest dreams and imaginations and I, you know i have a vivid imagination i <laughs> I can just think about all the things that I want God to do. And I know you a little bit. And I oh know you God. have an incredible I imagination. But God said, and he spoke to us and said, the things that you're thinking about, the things that you're even dreaming about, he says, in the next five years, I'm going to go exceeding abundantly above oh and beyond God. what you can even think of. If you can, he said, if you can think about it, I'm going to go above and beyond it. Oh, my God. And we have been seeing an extreme. God said... Wait, because the Bible says in Habakkuk, it says, though the vision, the vision is for an appointed season and for an appointed time, though it tarry, wait for it, for it shall come. And he said, there is coming a season of extreme. You're going to see extreme ministry, extreme healings, extreme breakthroughs, extreme finances, extreme miracles, extreme restorations, extreme salvations. And we've been seeing that happen over and over and over again. And it was really birth from that word of the Lord that came to us about 3 o'clock in the morning. And testimonies have come in. Marriages that have been restored. Lives that have been touched. Lives that have been transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit. People who have been, who have been, uh, who felt like they wanted to give up. People who wanted to commit suicide. There's such a, an incredible anointing on this, on this album, Prophetess. And, you know, you and I do a wonderful duet on there. And it's, I, we, you can't believe the email. I've got to send you the email of people's lives that have been touched and brought into a place of worship and brought into a place of intimacy with God. And it's just been amazing to us to see the presence of the Lord and the anointing of God take people above and beyond because he's a God that can do that because you know the devil wants you to think that you're down and out lost and undone in a dying world yes but we need to understand what the word of the Lord says yes. we got to prophesy to ourselves sometimes. Yes. the yes. Bible says speak the word of the Lord speak life the power of life and death is in the tongue we sometimes we speak so much death that we got to speak a lot to our families we got to speak a lot to our marriages we got to speak a lot to our finances we got to speak a lot to our children we got to say I will restore and you will destroy the cake of worm and the loaf that they've eaten I will restore. We got to speak life. Yes. And finances. Say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the country. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going. I'm the head, not the tail, above only, not beneath. I am going above and beyond. Oh. And it's just, you know, I know that we're, we're sisters in Christ. We're so hooked up in the spirit because I know this much about you, that you have to feel whatever you're 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 about to record a brand new album yes with, with larry god the and it's just that i'm telling you it is going yours. to be one of the most incredible projects because it is prophetic yes and this is your time 
It's your time to begin to proclaim the worship of the Lord. It's your time to begin to step out into that into that uh, season that God is destined for you. But I know that you have poured your heart over every song that's going on this album. And that's really what's on this album. It's my heart. I can't sing a song unless it's in my heart. Is there, is there one that really stands out more than others um, that when you got it, it was an experience like when you heard it like when I heard my heart's desire oh, oh my yeah. god yes I, I was just like all night long I told you I had it on repeat repeat and at the time that I heard my heart's desire this is what people don't realize um, I don't believe either one of us go to do music I think we just go to worship God yes, yes. And, and sometimes people are waiting on and thinking that they have to have the greatest voice and and know all the best riffs and know how to sing it like somebody else. Mm -hmm. But I really believe that if people can feel your heart in yes, what you do. Yes, and they know that you are seriously sold out to God. Amen. You know, worship is not something that I just do. It's something that I am. I, I, am. I am that. I am. I you, am. you know, it's not what we do, it's what we are. And is there one particular song that just stands out? that you can say Juanita I had an experience with this song and this is really my favorite song on the CD well Cindy Cruz and Israel Houghton wrote, wrote that beautiful song that I just finished singing Israel oh my Israel. god and, and you know it was something that when I heard it the first time it brought me to my knees because ever since I was eight years old all I've ever wanted was his presence in my I used to sing with my sisters and we used to travel and sing together and we weren't known as a, as a, as a we weren't like the crabs we sometimes we hid it and sometimes we didn't but all my life you know all my life I've always just I've just always wanted God in my life I remember as a, as a teenager I told the Lord, I said, Lord, I don't want anything to ever, ever harm me. I, I chose the guys that I dated. I chose the people that I hung out with because I was so afraid. I was so afraid that I would somehow or other offend him. I didn't want him to take his presence from me. I didn't want him to take his anointing from me. It was the most precious thing in my life. And it still is to this day. It's this anointing that I want. It's this glory in my life. It's this presence in my life because I know, you know, whenever... Whenever someone hears my voice, they don't leave going, wow, what an incredible voice. But I want people, when they, when, they, when they see me sing or when they hear me sing, I want them to experience the presence of God. And we do, I too. want lives to be changed, just like the crab said. I just want his presence in my life. I want somebody, somewhere to say, you know what, I've been changed by his power. Yes. And that, to me, is what it's all about, you know. I, I don't I have a boring testimony you know I just I it's boring I don't I don't have any grand testimony I just I, all I can testify of is the faithfulness of God yeah that he's kept me for the past 37 years wow right in the center of his hand and I've fallen I've made mistakes but I've always found a way to, to get up because I just I just want him and Judy just want you know what God. this when you asked me, we were in Jamaica doing a crusade, and I didn't even know you were going to be there. And um, and you and your husband walked up on the outside grounds. And when you asked me to, to, to do this song with you, I was I was really honored. Couldn't believe you said yes. I was. I mean, I just said Couldn't yes believe. because I was so honored because I have so admired the anointing on your life. And something else that's just so powerful is that. When you can make a commitment to people and it's not about money, it's not about points, it's not about, you know, what you're going to get. And I just, I just said to you, Judy, I'm so honored that you asked me. And that song is such a testimony of both of ours. And I believe even when we did it, it was like the glory of the Lord just hit the place because... Well, it's so funny because Prophet has, has her headphones on. <laughs> And there's nobody in the whole world but her and, and, and Jesus. And she's the track's going and she's singing. I'm on my knees crying. Larry Goss is on his knees. The engineer's got his hands up. All the people in the whole studio is on their knees. And she's just singing. She's the only one working. <laughs> Everybody else is worshiping. And so I get through. What you do, Lord? I'm Lord, not, I don't consider myself as a singer. 
I don't consider myself as, as seriously. And I was so concerned that I would mess up. So we're getting ready to do this song awesome. for the people of God. And, awesome. and I think because you and I both awesome. depend on thank God you. not to mess up. We just want to bless the people yes, of God. Amen. So we thank get the you, words Lord. turned around above and beyond. Because of who you are, oh, I give you glory. You, you ready, Judy? Let's do this. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. You're so worthy. You're so worthy, Lord. Because of who you are, I give you glory. Yes, yes, yes. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, worship you because of who you are. Yes, I do, I do worship you because of who you are, who you are, who you are. I love you tonight, Jesus. You're so worthy, Lord. Because of who you are. I give you glory. Oh yes, I do, I do, I do, Lord. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Because of who you are, yes, God. I will lift my voice and say, Yes, I will. Lord, I worship you. Because of who. Because of who you are, yes, come on. Because of who you are, I give you glory. I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Lord, we came tonight to give you the praise. Because of who you are, we're gonna.
large or small, to help keep the gospel of Jesus Christ going around the world. So write today. Praise the Lord, P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711. Or in Canada, right, T.P.N., P.O. Box 768, Station B, Ottawa, Ontario, K1P, 5P8. If you haven't asked Christ in your life, call our prayer partner now and pray to receive Jesus as Savior and Lord. Now, until next time, remember to praise the Lord.